Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to make myself a DIY jog wheel, which I'm going to use to control my video editing software. So let's go. Alright, so I've basically drawn up a bit of a diagram of how this is going to work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an Arduino controller, which I've got here. I've got a rotary encoder, this little piece here, a dial for the top, and I've got a few micro switches hidden away in the back somewhere. Now, I'm going to 3D print up a nice little box here, which I'm going to mount all this equipment in, and how this is going to wire up is everything will go to the Arduino and the Arduino will have a USB connector that connects into the computer. I'll program the chip and how that'll work. So with this encoder here, basically every time it ticks over, it'll register that as one movement and what I'll be able to do is assign any control to that I want. And the same with the switches, I'll just assign those and these wires will connect from here across into the Arduino now if you want to understand a bit more about how a rotary encoder works, I've added a link down below to How To Mechatronics' video, which you can see here. Uh, it's a good explanation of how these things work, so go check that video out as well. Now with the actual box I'm going to put it in, it's probably going to be prototype to begin with, so I might have a few tries to get that right first. The first thing I want to show you guys is the wiring diagram. Alright, so most of the Arduinos are actually pretty similar. They all have that 5 volt rail, the ground, and then your pins for your digital and analog. So what we've done here with this encoder is connected 5 to 5, the ground to the ground wire on the encoder, and I've just placed the pins on the encoder into the number 2 and 3. You can use any pins you want, just remember which ones you plug it into as you'll need to change it in your code. So the first thing I need to do is solder the headers onto the Arduino board and then I'm going to wire it up. Now all we need to do is program the chip, so I plug it into the computer via the USB and then I upload the code to the Arduino. In the description below I'm going to add the code down there so you can grab that as well. But just make sure you've selected the correct Arduino in your options. That was my main problem when trying to upload. Okay, so I'm testing it to make sure it works. This works fine, so now I'm going to move on to 3D printing the case. Alright, so the STL file that I used uh, was actually from All Wind Designs, which I'll put a link in the description below. Um, now, this was actually the inspiration of where I saw his uh, jog wheel that he created. So, um, go check out his video as well, and you can grab the STL file in his description off in his website. Okay, now I'm just going to test mount all the components into the box and what I'm going to do is hot glue here the rotary encoder down and then attach everything back into the box and all the cables back up. Now I can also run the USB cable through the 3D printed box, there's a little hole for it. And then I'm just going to tuck everything away nice and neat. Now I'm adding in here another wire which I'm going to just put on the pin 4. Um, now that is to connect to the button because the actual rotary encoder when you push it down is a button. Um, just tying everything away here. Now I do have these screws that I ended up just threading through and put a thread on the plastic. Now you have to be careful when doing this because you can snap the actual plastic itself but since I 3D printed it I could always print another one so it wasn't an issue. Um, and then basically 
Once I did that, I just added some sticky pads on the back so that it would stop from sliding around on the table. All right, so there you have it, the DIY USB jog wheel. Um, pretty simple to make, pretty cheap. Um, if you've got a few materials like the Arduino and the rotary encoder, the rest of it's just basically a box and you could use anything for that. Um, I'm quite happy with that so far. I'd like to change the box over something a bit more ergonomic and also probably a few more buttons so I can maybe cut and delete certain parts of the video. But any questions and comments, just throw it down below. But uh, thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.